All right, well, listen, we've got a, a great analyst coming up. In fact, our next guest says, though, and it's a different take. He's talking about U.S. debt. It says it makes America look weak to the rest of the world. Ed Butaski joins us now from Dallas. So, so Ed, essentially what you're saying is that, um, you know, all the stuff with the NSA leak, uh, the incompetence in Washington, D.C., while that's embarrassing, it's our debt that really makes us look uh, weak to the rest of the world. Yeah, without, without question, Charles. I mean, think about this. How can we negotiate with China when we beg and plead for them to literally buy our debt at 3.5%? And if they don't, our whole economy turns into a depression. So we can't strong arm them. Russia, we loan literally uh, you know, $153 billion. We borrow from them. And Ecuador, believe it or not, Ecuador is part of the OPEC nations where we get $272 billion. So when the president says we're not going to scramble jets to find a 29 year old hacker, what he really should be saying is hey, we're in big trouble here because we borrow money from them. And as a result of that, to keep our economy going, I can't really be as strong as I want to be. And that's what the viewers need to know, Charles. Is is that this debt does matter. It's not something that's irrelevant. It's a big deal. And we can't play strong arm. We can't be the leader in the free world like we used to be if we have to borrow money. But here's the problem then, Ned, uh, with the scenario you just laid out. We're going to keep borrowing money. It's the, you know, the, the, right. the rate that our government grows, then we're just going to. So this really means that we receive further and further and further with respect to real power around the globe. Right. I mean, the power, look, we have our economy. Everyone wants access to, you know, the people in our economy, which is great. So we do have certain things. But don't forget the fact that we are weaker every single day that we print money and we have an increasing debt. So everyone who says that debt doesn't matter, you know what? Take an economics lesson and understand how the world works because it does matter. And Snowden, this is a small example of what I believe is going to start to happen more and more. We're losing power. We're losing respect because of our fiscal debt. You know, uh, the, you know we, the, the president, the White House, uh, they met with the China. Also, of course, we know that uh, uh, President Obama and Putin shared a stage together recently where uh, right. both men look like, uh, <laughs> you know, nothing maybe disdain dripping off both of them. But, uh, you know, Putin yeah. especially seems to have zero respect for America, almost laughing at us anytime something important comes up. Well, I mean, I, you're seeing it across the board. I mean, you can feel it. I'm not involved with it, nor are you, nor is Liz involved with negotiations, uh, you know, that the president's involved with. But you can just kind of get a feel that we don't have quite the swagger that we used to have and the influence we used to have. Militarily, okay, we do. But that's not how we're going to win the war in terms of trade. We're going to win the war in trade by having better products, by having a better economy. And that debt has got to come down. And it's not. You can look at that clock every single day, Charles. You see that debt clock getting bigger and bigger. And every time it goes up, that means we're getting weaker and weaker. Yeah, but, uh, but where's, where's the magic number? Where, where's the number where, okay, forget about it. You know, we've been warned. When do we actually see this, right. uh, not just uh, with the way we're treated around the world, but when people watching this show, when it starts to truly impact their wallets, what number is that? Well, it's a progressive thing. I mean, I don't know what that exact number is going to be. I just know that we, you know, as we print more money, our, the value of our dollar goes down, the cost of our goods and services. You know, forget about the CPI, and you and I have talked about that before. Our costs go up and our economy gets weaker. So I don't think there's an exact number. I just think that overall the respect for this country is deteriorating, and that's why, you know, we're not able to go get a guy like Snowden, and that's why we're not able to, you know, really put pressure. I mean, if we had the swagger that we had before, we wouldn't be sitting there in some area in Russia in an airport where no one's turning them over to us. We would have had that guy back here in a minute. Absolutely. I guess that's what's happened when you go around the world hat in hand. At some point, everyone loses their that's respect. That's exactly right. Ed, thanks a lot. You we always it. appreciate it. And your work is always very unique. So thanks a lot. We'll talk to you again soon.